Hello and welcome. In this video I will be demonstrating how to use the new sampler feature in the latest BandLab update. Log in to your BandLab account and create a new project. Straight away it brings up your track options. You can see here they have added a new sampler option. Click on this to load up the sampler. It will load up an empty sampler and on the left hand side you have a drop down menu. Here you can load up pre-made sampler kits under curated kits. Load up a sampler kit of your choice. I have gone for grunge glitch sampler kit. To play the samples you can use your mouse to click on them. You can also use your QWERTY keyboard or your MIDI keyboard. Once you are familiar with playing the sampler kit, we can move on to editing the samples. To delete a sample, click on the square and hit the backspace or the delete button on your keyboard. To shorten the sample, you can grab the tabs at each end and adjust accordingly. I am going to shorten this sample here. Let's have a listen. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. If you look down the bottom, you can see some more editing functions. First up, we have the volume. Next, we have the pan pot, which moves the sound either towards the left or the right in the stereo field. We also have a pitch pot to increase or decrease the pitch of the sample. Notice that as the pitch increases or decreases, so does the speed. On the right, we have an attack button. The attack determines the time taken for the signal to grow to its maximum amplitude, almost like a fade in. Next, we have the release button. The release sets the time it takes for the sound to decay when the key is released. We also have a tone button. This acts as a filter cutoff. We have a couple of playback options here. I have it already set on loop, which means the sample will keep looping over when I hold it down. We also have one shot, which means it plays the whole sample once when you hold down the key. The gate button only plays the sample for how long you hold it for. I'm now going to do a fast forward of me editing some samples in the bounce sampler kit. Once you are happy with the edits that you have made, you can save your updated kit by clicking save as and naming your new kit. It will then be stored under my kits. What I love about this sampler is that it is so easy to create your own sound. There are three ways that you can import sound into your sampler. First, I am going to delete all of the existing sounds. The first way that you can import sound is by recording it in using a microphone or your computer or phone mic. To do this, click on the square you want to use and hit record. As you can see, I have recorded something very impressive. I am now going to edit this recording to sound more like a hi-hat sound or a shaker. The second 
way to import sounds is by importing music or sounds from your computer or phone. I'm going to load up a song from my desktop. It will only load the first minute of it. Let's have a listen. I'm going to edit it so we can only hear the guitar at the start. Third way to import samples into your sampler is by importing them from the BandLab loop section. Click on Browse One Shot. I want to look for a kick sound, so I am going to search in the search bar. When you find one you like, simply drag it and drop it onto the sample square. Now I'm going to look for a guitar sound, I think. You can group your samples and change their colour as well to keep percussive sounds separate from melodic sounds. This is quite a handy tool to keep organised. Once you have created some sounds in your sampler kit that you like, you can now record them into BandLab. To undock the sampler, click on this double squared icon. Using your mouse, MIDI keyboard or QWERTY keyboard, practice what you are going to record. Record in your sounds. Once recorded, they appear as MIDI notes so you can edit and quantize them. I'm just going to fast forward through the editing. Let's have a listen. You can even add extra effects to it like you would if it was an audio track. I'm going to try putting some reverb and some phasing on it. I'm now going to use my beat as my drum section to add loops on top of. There you have it, not a masterpiece but hopefully this video explains how to use the new BandLab sampler. Thanks for watching!